Hey guys, welcome back to the Jays for Down podcast. I'm your host, Jay, and I'm here today with my boy Miles here. Uh, he is here to talk some Green Bay Packers football because he's a Packers fan, and um, some news has came out with um, Packers star quarterback Jordan Love getting his extension. So I want to get Miles' thoughts on that. But before we get to that, Miles, thanks for joining us today. Man. Of course, of course, always, man. It's always a pleasure to be on a podcast with you. Yes, sir. Uh, so, like I said, uh, Jordan Love, man, got a bag um <laughs> big extension for him uh what are your thoughts on that just um so as a Packers fan I'm glad we secured our quarterback for the future I was actually you know flashback a couple of years I was disappointed when we drafted him in the middle of Aaron Rodgers seasons but yeah. seeing how he performed at the back end of last year and into the playoffs I'm very excited that we locked him up for four years however 220 million dollars is a lot of money and I really I'm not a big fan of quarterbacks resetting the market just in general. I don't think he should have made more than 160 ish million. I think that Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback. He should be the highest paid quarterback in general. I don't really like the whole resetting the market thing. But considering how it works, he was next in line. I think he was well worth it. I think he's probably the second best young quarterback after C.J. Stroud. And I think he proved that last year. And I think we'll continue to see more and more of that. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely. I agree with you. You know, love threw for 32 touchdowns, 11 picks last year, uh, 96.1 rating. Really good, especially in the um, win against Dallas in the uh, wild card. And he played pretty good against San Fran, too, for, San, quarter, yeah. quarter, no, for a first year quarterback. First year quarterback. Yeah, um, he 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 played really good, man. He had a good year, um, you know, and the Packers. Dude, I like the Packers offense, man. It's very young. Um, like, you know, uh, a few guys impressed me as far as like, you know, in the receiving core, Jaden Reed was a rookie. He had a great year, 64 catches, um, 793 yards, eight touchdowns. Like, he looked electric. Uh, yeah. Dontavious, uh, Dontavian Wicks uh, also had a good year. So, And hopefully yeah, they get Christian Watson back. I was just about to say, if Christian yeah. Watson can stay healthy. Yes. Yep. So um, so how do you like the – I mean, like, as far as the offense is concerned, how do you like it? You know, so, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw a stat that the average player of our offense is 26 years old, yeah. which is great for the future. Yeah, um, I like the Josh Jacobs edition. He he brings a, a bell cow back, but a younger edition than Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is pushing 30. I think Josh Jacobs is just 26. So, I think for the future, we're really well, we're really good there. My only thing is those young receivers you named, the Jaden Reed, Dontavian Wicks, Christian Washington, Romeo Dubs, I need somebody to emerge as a number one. I feel like we got a lot of number twos. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. think we have that go-to guy. And I think if one of them can kind of emerge, that's the next step for our offense. Like when it's third and eight, we know who we're throwing the ball to. Right now, I don't really know who's the guy. So do you think Christian Watson can turn into that? Because that's kind of what I feel like they drafted him to be. See, I think on paper, yes. But the first step is you got to stay on the field. Yeah. Yeah. So before we talk about him being that thousand yard receiver for us, he's got to play 15, 16 games. So I think maybe if he can play the whole season, we can get a taste of that. And if not, I don't know. Who do you think will step up? I mean, if not um, Watson, I'd say probably the, um, Romeo Dobbs. I mean, okay. he's he's um, like he he's definitely had some great um, games in the past. And I feel like he's a guy that can you know, make plays. He's done it before. You know, he's a really good um, – He's he's got talent for sure. You're right. He's got talent. Um, and like I said, Reed and Wicks are also some good players. Um, yeah. Just very young is the only thing. Right. But, yeah, that's that's another thing too. Um, I don't kind of want to have the Atlanta Hawks effect where we had too much success too early, and then on the back end we can't live up to the expectations that we set for ourselves. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I don't want Jordan Love's best year to be last year and our offense's best year to be last year. I hope we can continue to build on it and hopefully maybe make an NFC championship appearance this year. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I mean, like I said, the NFC North, man, I mean, I really think um, – because we know the Lions are going to – we know that they're going to have a good year. I mean, probably. you know, yeah, they'll probably win that division. Yeah. Um, I had the Packers right behind them, man. I mean, Me like – I, I do. I don't see a reason as to why, like, they they don't have a good season. Yeah. I mean, because think about it, they were, last year they are trying to still figure some things out, you know, um, and now they're coming back this year having that experience play with each other. I think they're going to – and a new defensive coach as well to help the defense out. So, um, I yeah, I have the Packers, like – I think their floor 
it would be like nine and eight. I have a nine and eight floor, like maybe um, eleven and six. six. Yeah, ceiling. Yeah, somewhere around there. I I did my uh, NFL predictions not too long ago, and I have the Packers getting a wild card spot. Like you said, the Lions will probably take that division, but I think it's a significant gap. I think the Packers and Lions are pretty close, and then it's a little bit of a fall off between the Vikings and the Bears. And I think as long as, like you said, kind of coming back into that second year with Jordan Love under the the helm of the the offense, you know, we started off kind of slow last year. But once we got going, we were really one of the better teams in the league. And I think as long as we can start this season off good, you know, we play the Eagles week one. I think mm-hmm. that'll be a good test for us to kind of go sure. into to Philly and see what Jalen Hurst and Saquon look like versus us with Jordan Love and, and Josh Jacobs and all the different additions to our offense. Kind of see what we, you know, because I think the Eagles coming off of that disappointing year, losing to the Bucks, I think they'll come out with something to prove. So I think even if we don't win week one, I think we should compete. And in my opinion, as long as we compete week one, I'll be satisfied. No, for sure. I agree with you. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, another things to know, um, the offensive line also is is pretty young. And we have one player on the offensive line that's um, had five plus seasons, and I believe that's um, Jenkins, the left guard. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Other than that, they're young, dude. Bakhtiari, not there anymore. He's gone, right? right. So, um, you know, it's like, can you find that anchor left tackle there? Um, and because they had – the third fewest sacks taken with only 30 last year in the league, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, um, it was very promising. Everything was really so, promising. Um, yeah, man. Like, I think this – yeah, I had the Packers, man, like really, I mean, being one of those NFC teams that can come in there and, um, you know, give give a team a game for real. Um, yeah. I, beat a team like they did yeah. with Dallas. Um, right. You know, I last in my, in my video with the NFL predictions, I said my conference championship predictions and I actually have the Eagles and the Packers as the NFC championship. What do you think about that? Really? In the NFC championship? I do. I do. So over you had them like getting in over Detroit. Really? I do. I really do. Oh, and I, it might be a little bit of Packers Packers bias bias. You, man. Yeah, it might be a little bit of that, but I just <laughs> have a feeling I feel like Detroit's I think Detroit's best chance was last year, honestly. Hmm. I don't know. I just – I feel like it's hard to replicate success in the NFL. Yeah. And um, I'm not a big Jared Goff guy. I, I I do – I love Amin Ra. I love Jameer Gibbs. I think David Montgomery's a great, you know, one-two punch with him. I love Laporta. But I don't know that I trust Jared Goff to be as efficient. You know what I'm saying? I, I think he can be a little bit of a turnover machine at times. Yeah. And for them in the playoffs, I think that – I trust Jordan Love's upside more than I trust Jared Goff's upside. I think Jared Goff is maybe his floor might be higher, maybe if he's consistent, but I don't think his his ceiling is as high. That's valid. That's valid. Um, you know, he did struggle with some turnovers um, last year. Um, but, you know, hey, I mean, if you if you label him as one of those like system guys, like, I mean, as far as that's concerned, he'll go in there and he'll run your system for you um, yeah. for sure. Uh, that's what he did. Los Angeles, I mean, what he's really doing in Detroit, because I mean, you know, that's just what his skill set kind of gives gives him. Um, so, so yeah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> you have NFC championship. That's that's bold, man. That's really yeah, bold. It's, it's definitely unique because no San Fran, no Detroit. And those are the two, you know, eyes on favorites. I, with San Fran, my thing with them is just year after year they get so close. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, Super Bowl, NFC chip. They're kind of always in that mix. I think it'll just be a little bit different this year. I think it's just time for a change. That's all that is. I don't I think throughout the course of the regular season, they'll probably end up being the one seed. And like I said, I don't even have the Packers winning our division. But I think come playoff time, it'll just be a little bit different this year. I have a gut feeling. Hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, like I said, that's valid. Um, you know, hey, again, that's your team. So I would expect yeah. you to say much different. I mean, I could probably say the same about Atlanta. Um, you know, I think uh, we also have a shot to get in there this year. Um, but, you know, it's, I went yeah, so with Atlanta. What do you think Atlanta ceiling is? Do you think NFC championship? Um, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but I do give them like a. Um, mm, I say maybe like a, a twelve and five ceiling. Definitely can win. Twelve games yeah. is possible because of the division. Yeah, I think y'all will win that division too. Yeah, I think twelve games is possible. They have, and they also have reportedly one of the easier schedules this year. Right. Um, 
So, you know, and with the potent offense now, with the actual quarterback, uh, um, you know, and Bijan, he's amazing. Defense is, you know, going to be a little – they're going to have to keep working. But offensively, man, I like him. I think we're good, man. I like well, – on paper, everything looks good. Kirk Cousins, yeah. like I said, Bijan, Drake London, Kyle, Kyle Pitts. Um, yeah, I like, I like you guys' offense just as much as I like Green Bay's, to be honest. Like, y'all got – we're both – in a good position, we just got to produce. Yep, that's it. Production, um, you know, get the ball in your in your playmakers' hands. You know, that's like football is not complicated, man. It's really you just get the ball in your best players' hands. And that's that's another reason why when you say get the the ball in your playmakers' hands, why I think Green Bay can surprise some people this year because Matt Lafleur has really good schemes. Like the reason we beat Dallas, he just out schemed them. We're getting the ball in our playmakers' hands defensively. We're sitting on, you know, we had the pick six and all that just because of the the, the way we schemed that game up. He just coached us to win the game. And then when we played San Fran, we had a really good game plan. And I think again, just year two with Matt Lafour and Jordan Love together, I think we'll just have a lot of good game plans for teams that can give anybody a run for their money. Yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. Yeah, I like the like I said, I like the Packers, man. You know, a lot of. Um, media outlets are yeah giving them like a good year this year um, for sure and and it's and it's deserved like I say love you know I, it was a matter of time before he got this extension you know I've been hearing yeah. rumblings about it and I was you know I knew it was gonna happen at some point so they got him locked up um, for sure and he's gonna go out there and have another good year oh yeah I think did you see that uh, he was number thirty four on the NFL top one hundred I saw that I saw what do you think about that I mean I, um, that's I, I'd say that's uh, valid. I think it's a little high, even as a Jordan Love guy. I wouldn't put him above Devontae Adams, above Joe Burrow. I think he's, I think he's very promising, but I think we put him a little, gave him a little bit too much credit for for um, he, as a young quarterback. Like you said, he's one of those guys. Like I mean, yeah, he, he's um, he's definitely one of the better young quarterbacks. Like you said, I mean, look at like say Stroud and um, you know. Um, Burrow and, and those guys, like you got to put love in there as yeah. well. Um, he just hadn't played up until like really much last year. You didn't get right. a full glimpse of him until last year, you know. So, um, you know, and so that's and you got to say, like, we got to address the elephant in the room too, man. Like, you know, I'm sitting behind Rodgers. I mean, that, that yeah. of course, that, that, you know, like that's they have to help him out, right? So it's like, yes, yeah. I mean, you know, you can knock it, but it's, I mean, hey, it worked, it right? worked. So, it worked yeah. with with Favre to Rogers and then Rogers to Love and right. and again I was I was frustrated when we did it because I'm like we have Aaron Rodgers why are you drafting another quarterback but our front office seems to know what they're doing when it comes to quarterbacks yeah for sure for sure so it's going to be interesting um, for sure so uh, are there any other NFC teams that you think people are um, sleeping on to get in uh, this year like or just to have a good season in general um. The Cardinals, in my opinion, will be a borderline wild card team. The Cardinals. The Cardinals, because let me tell you why. When Kyler Murray had D Hop, they were a consistent team. And last year, Kyler was recovering from his ACL. They ended up finishing four and 13. Right. But I think him with Maserati Marv and then Trey McBride being there, I think that if, if Marvin Harrison Jr. can be who we think he is, and then Trey McBride can be a, a blanket tight end, I think Kyler Murray is going to surprise some people. I think I don't know. See, that's the problem. You know, they don't have too much reliability on the defensive end it's ever since JJ White left, to be honest. But I think that as long as Kyler can remain consistent, I think they'll be a 500 team. You know, last year, like I said, they went four and 13. I wouldn't be surprised to see every every single team in the NFC West finish above 500 and nine and eight or better. Hmm. OK. OK. Every team in the NFC West. OK. Yeah. The um, Seahawks, the Cardinals. Rams and the 49ers, all four of them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, the uh, every team except for the Cardinals, I think would be. Okay. Uh, I just don't, man, I don't know, man. It's just like Arizona, I just think they're like still not there yet. Um, you know, uh, like I said, really what scares me is just like their they're, they're secondary, their pass defense was one yeah. near the bottom in the league last year. Um, you know, they they had, they struggle defensively. Um, I, I don't I don't disagree with you defensively. I just think that again, if Marvin Harrison Jr. can be who we who yeah. they draft him to be, yeah, I think they can score with anybody. 
And I think that uh, I trust Kyler Murray enough to, you know, win some games. Like, come fourth quarter, it's a close game. I, I like Kyler Murray more than the average person, I feel like. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I hear you, man. I hear you. Yeah. Got a Kyler supporter here. Um, yeah. yeah, no, man. Kyler, you know, like, I, and, and when he got drafted, man, I wanted him to do good, bro, you know, and stuff. Because I come out of Oklahoma, he was really a good quarterback there, Oklahoma. Back to back number one picks, right? Um, so, uh, but yeah, man, he's. Um, we'll see. He just had to stay on the field, man. Hopefully, he can right. stay on the field. You know, um, you know, because like the switching around with the quarterbacks that you get that the, you gotta have continuity, man, with quarterbacks yeah. in today's game. You gotta have a, you know, you gotta have that. Um, yeah. Speaking of Oklahoma quarterbacks and the NFC North, what do you think about Caleb Williams? <laughs> um, you know, it's funny. The Bears are actually one of my sleeper teams. Um, okay. The Bears are one of my sleeper teams. I think I do like, think I think they'll finish better than the Vikings. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I, I think they're gonna have a good year, man. I think um better than what people might think. You know, Caleb, if Caleb again is kind of similar to Marvin, if he projects to what we believe he'll be, then yeah, you know, um I think they'll have a I can see them kind of having like a similar Texans type year. Hmm. I wouldn't I don't know if I would Somewhat, say this, as far as like the quarterback, but you know, CJ Stroud yeah. came in and was like, wow. Like, yeah, I know? can see that. I can see that. Um, I don't know um, if he'll be quite on CJ Stroud's level. CJ Stroud was, yeah, he would see the all expectations. Yeah. Yes. But with giving him Keenan Allen, Roma Dunze, DJ Moore, DeAndre Swift, Cole Komet, this is like the best position you could ask to be in as a number one pick. And with that being the case, again, like you said, if he's who we drafted him to be, there's nothing the, – the, the sky's the limit. Yeah, yeah. I think the Bears can definitely make a run. Yeah, they're, and their defense is – their defense is solid. I like their yeah. defense. They had a, actually one of the – Yeah, one of the better defenses last year. The last year. Yeah, um, the, the problem was Justin Fields' inconsistency. But yeah. if, Caleb, if Caleb Williams can be consistent, then, yeah, we might be looking at a playoff team. Possibly. You know, I also have the commanders in there too. Um, so I, I ha- I'm high on the commanders as well. I think Jaden Daniels coming in and like you said, the continuity, if he can be consistent and, you know, get Terry McLaurin the ball in space, I think that'll be, you know, they'll, they'll be better than they have in the past couple of years. For sure. For sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, the commanders is a team. Yeah. I can definitely see. Cause like you say, I mean, Terry McLaurin, Dotson, I mean, like they got some, some talented players out there at McCaffrey, um, you know, so uh, it's, Luke, not Christian. Um, right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, sorry, disclaimer. Um, but yes, they they got some talented um, offensive playmakers out there in their defense. You know, defensive line is really good. We know, you know, even though they lost Sweat and Young, but you just got to find that production uh, production on the edge. You know, placing those guys because they yeah. were huge for them on the edge. So they just got to um, find some production there. But yeah. other than that, man, it should be an interesting year. Like yeah. speaking of NFC East. Do you think that the Cowboys should be invested no. in that beyond this year? No. 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 So what do you do? You draft somebody? No. Um Yeah. Uh like I I, I mean I don't do listen, that Prescott is is like I, I is, he's 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 not it, man. He's not it. I don't, you know, but now I will say this, and somebody uh, mentioned this to me earlier that I didn't think about before. Now the, the game against the Packers, your Packers in the playoffs, um, yeah, Dallas was straight up out coached and out. Uh, right. Like they didn't even look ready to play. Uh, right. They didn't. Uh, Dak especially didn't look ready to play. He, he, you know, I understand like coaching and things like that. But at the end of the day, man, your guys got to. This isn't the first time he's he's done this. In the yeah, post- he's he's a known underperformer in the playoffs. Right. You know, no, don't get me wrong, man. Regular season dude, Dak is a he's up there, man. He's he's a great uh, statistically. He's a great player in the regular season um, when he's healthy. However. Playoffs, he just doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't perform. I don't know what what the exact reason is for that. But yeah. you can't keep having this. Like if you if Dallas really wants to win, that's the question. So I don't know, man. I, yeah. uh, I he just come playoff time, he gets tight. He's just not the same. He's just not. So um, and they haven't extended him yet. They haven't done yeah. it yet. Um, and, you know, so they keep asking Jerry Jones about it. He he's he's subtly not he's he's like, yeah, I mean, you know, can't really. He's basically saying like, can't really have everything, you know. I mean, so it's like, when you, I don't think that's coming back, man. It doesn't look like it. Um, yeah. so, uh, who knows, man? Yeah, who knows. Um, 
So that's yeah, that's my thoughts on the, the Cowboys. I think they're going to do the same thing that they do every single year. <laughs> yeah, I say sure. every the last like since I started this podcast, man, I've been saying it's like they're going to do the same thing every single year, and they always do it. So you know, yeah, they're a great regular season team, and then they lose to Jordan Loves of the world. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. So um, you know. But yeah, man. So like I say, it's gonna be a fun year. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see how a lot of these teams are gonna look. I'm excited to see, like I said, the Packers. I'm excited to see the Texans, see if they can continue their success. Um yep. I'm excited for, you know, yeah, see if anybody can take the Chiefs down. Somebody. I'm trying, I'm i just want to see somebody take them down, man. Like, I want to see somebody take them down, but in all honesty, if you're asking me for my pick, I think the Chiefs will 3P. I just don't know who's gonna do it. Yeah, honestly, I yeah, I mean, I don't know either, bro. Especially I, giving them Hollywood, that speedy receiver with they got Worthy and Hollywood to go with Travis Kelsey. No, that's giving Patrick Rice. Mahomes too much. Right, that's giving Patrick Mahomes too much. Yeah, because he he's one. While we have questions about his receivers, now that we're giving him legit three wideouts, and you still got Travis Kelsey, it's like I don't know. <laughs> dude uh, do the cheese man um but yeah so it's it's crazy man i mean it's really crazy i mean this guy yeah. might end up with like four rings um so yeah it, it, this this is insane um but like i said i mean you know i want to see somebody take him down maybe the packers will do it maybe <laughs> maybe maybe it'll be the packers uh maybe you know, it could be the Bengals in, you know, in the AFC Championship game. If they can get back to their selves, you know, who are – I actually have the Jets in the AFC Championship. The Jets. Hmm. Okay. I think I think um, they have a top five, top ten defense undoubtedly. For sure. For sure. And you add in Aaron Rodgers, I think as long as their O-line can protect him, you know, he'll use Garrett Wilson effectively. We got him a jump ball receiver and Mike Williams. You got Brees Hall at the backfield. I think that's one of the best situations Aaron Rodgers has been in in a minute. And as long as he can still be a productive, he doesn't have to be MVP Aaron Rodgers, but a productive Aaron Rodgers, I think he'll be very good. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. So we'll see. Um, yeah, the Jets for sure. You know, it's, it's I'm just happy to see that he'll be back this year, you know, because we only, we didn't, what, a few plays, you know, um, so that yeah. bad injury. So it's like now we get to really see what he'll look like yeah. um, with the Jets, you know, um, at a full season. So, or, Hope, you know, hopefully at least mostly a full season. Right, so, right. Um, but, yeah, man, other than that, that pretty much uh, wraps us up. If you, unless you have anything you want to add. Um, nah, not particularly. I just look forward to seeing Green Bay in the NFC Championship next year. <laughs> this guy. Um, look, I love it, man. You are, you, dude, you're confident in your team, and I love that. You know, listen, I, I respect it. Um, I just can't say the same for, for, for my squad. Sorry, NFC <laughs> Championship, but you know, yeah, um, I, I respect it for sure, man. So we'll see if, if you end up being right on that. Um, I hope so. So, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, man, that'll wrap us up for today's show. And Jay Smith down, guys. Again, this is me, Jaden, here with my boy Miles. Um, you know, we're gonna see him back on the show a lot. He's been on before. Um, you know, so we're definitely gonna continue to talk ball as we get closer and closer to the season, throughout the season. So. Miles, thanks again for joining us. Man. Of course, man. Anytime, anytime. Definitely look forward to being on this season and breaking down the games with you. Yes, sir, man. Well, um, yeah, we will um, be talking to you very soon. All right. All right, man.